Hey, how you doing? Doris here. So you guys were asking for a solution under my previous video to use a Google Assistant device to turn a PC on. Well, here we are then. I was looking for different kind of methods, but not all of them worked for me. Luckily, I found a solution which is quite easy and I will share it with you now. Also, please let me know in the comment section down below if it works for you. So, first of all, make sure that your Android device is on the same network as your PC is during the whole tutorial. Right, so the first step is to go to your BIOS settings and enable Wake on LAN. Now, every motherboard is different, but these settings can be found in a very similar sections. On my motherboard, I have found under Advanced and APM configurations. Here I just set two settings, which is the AC power loss to less state and enable the power on by PCI slash PCIe. Now we need to make sure that this option is also enabled in our operating system. Open your network and sharing center and click on change adapter settings. Here you can see your connected networks. Right click on your Ethernet properties and configure. At the power management, make sure that all these are ticked. Also, sometimes on the advanced tab, you can find the Wacom LAN property. Make sure you enable it. Okay, now if you want to, you can test it out to make sure that you can continue with the next step, which is using the actual Google Assistant to turn on your computer. You just simply need to download the Wacom LAN app on your phone. Register your PC, then turn it off and try to wake it up with the application. If you succeed, you can proceed to the following step, which is to create an applet in IFTTT, search for Google Assistant in the this section, say a simple phrase and give your preferred comments that you will use to wake your PC. Also write what would you like Google Assistant to say in response and create a trigger. Now search for push bullet in the that section push a note. You can leave the title as it is, we don't really care about that, but make sure at the message you will write something that will never gonna be sent by push messages and also try to memorize it because you will need it in the next application that we are going to use. Create an action and finish. Make sure when you download Pushbullet to your phone it's connected to the same email address. So the next app we need is called the Auto Magic. Let's create a new flow in there. Click on the plus on the bottom right corner and now you have an empty square. Click on it and click on the horizontal bars. Click on the new button written in blue and look for plugin event experimental. The plugin you have to select is receive a push with the push bullet logo beside it. Click on the configure button and the page should be like this. Receive a note, message containing needs to be what you have given in the IFTT app. So for me is the WOL underline PC from anyone and then delete because I don't really want to see the notification anymore. Let's save it and create an action. Click on a new and look for wake on land package. Now here you need to give your PC's physical address, in other names your MAC address. If you don't know how to find your MAC address, you can easily find it by typing ipconfig slash all in the command prompt application. The port is gonna stay as it is and we can save it. Make sure you enable the flow and we are done. Now if I try to say Google turn on PC, you can see that it flashed red and that means the message was sent and the flow was processed. Let's test it in real time, shall we? Turn on PC. Now tell your Google Home the trigger phrase, again make sure your phone was on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer and your computer should turn on with your voice. Right, let me know what you think about this video, leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are a fan. Oh and by the way, check out my previous video where I explain how to turn your PC off 
with your voice. Links in the description. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one.